Sorry. <clears throat> All right, just gonna change the view so I can see all of you. Excellent, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Happy Thursday. <laughs> Miss Gentile. I uh, hope you had a lot of fun with Amanda on Tuesday. I was very grateful uh, she was able to step in because uh, I was teaching wheelchair basketball all day. Uh, we even had uh, and for those of you that don't know, I sometimes uh, go to an elementary school and uh, part of our wheelchair sports um, development program, we teach, we bring in about 26 sport chairs, sport wheelchairs for kids and introduce how to use them. And the older groups, we get into some wheelchair basketball even. Uh, it's quite fun. And there was a, a, a young student there in kindergarten who uses a chair as part of their everyday life. Wow. And this student was overjoyed to have everybody uh, in a chair and playing and having fun and uh, reminded me how awesome it was. So I hope you had fun Tuesday. I had a great time on Tuesday, and I'm, but still happy to be back. Uh, so let's get into our breathing pattern. We'll start the hand on our belly. We'll fill up the belly as we <laughs> breathe in. And then breathing out through pursed lips. Brilliant. Breathing in and out. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and out. Two more. Breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. Last one. Breathe in and out now i say last one but i do want you to continue that pattern we're just going to start adding in some movement so please continue that steady breath in and exhale <clears throat> and now as we breathe in i'm just going to ask us to open up the arms and then exhale as we bring the hands back together whether you want to touch or go across is completely up to you so breathe in pull apart the arms Breathe out, bring the arms back in, breathe in, pull apart the arms, breathe out, bring the hands back in, breathe in, pull apart the hands, breathe out, bring the hands back in, breathe in, pull the hands apart. Breathe out, hands back in. Last one, breathe in, pull the hands apart. Breathe out, hands back in. Okay, so now as we inhale, we're going to lift the arm and step our opposite leg out. And then breathe out to bring it all back in. So breathe in, lift the arm, step the foot. Breathe out, bring it all back in. Breathe in, lift and step. Breathe out, bring it back in. Breathe in, lift and step. Breathe out, bring it all back in. Good. Breathe in, step and reach. Breathe out, bring it in. <laughs> Breathe in, step and reach. Breathe out, bring it in. Breathe in, step and reach. Breathe out, bring it in. Breathe in, step and reach. Breathe out, bring it in. Two more before we change the pattern. And last one. <clears throat> Brilliant. Okay, team, I'd now like us to have our feet flat and then lift and lower the heels. Make sure those heels are lifting and lowering together as a team, if you can. Uh, but again, challenging but doable. One way to reduce intensity is just lift one at a time. Uh, but if you can, let's get both lifting and lowering. And we're going to get into some coordination work now. Still maintain that breathing pattern as mm -hmm. best you can. But we're starting to challenge ourselves a little bit more and more. 
So now we've got our hands. And the first thing we're gonna do is bring our arms across our body, down, and then bring our arms up and down. So it's across, down, up, down, cross, down, up, down, across, down, up, down. I don't me either. Across, down, up, down. We're still lifting and lowering those heels if you can. Sometimes it's hard to separate the brain as the feet and arms are doing something different. So just do the best that you can. This is part of warm up, it is challenging the brain. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go for five more seconds. And if you can, I want you to speed up the arms for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. As soon as I went faster, my feet wanted to stutter in the air <laughs> <laughs> instead of all the way down, all the way up. So it's funny how our brain uh, tries to overcome these challenges. So now we're going to circle one arm. So we're going to make a circle. Good. If you can lift and lower the heels, that'll make it more challenging. If you want to just focus on the arms, that's okay too. Now your non-circling arm is going to push forwards and then pull back. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is challenging. So again, just do the best that you can. Push forward. Pull back. You might notice your circling arm wants to go with it. It's okay. So just slow it down. Notice I'm not pushing forward and pulling back very fast. I tend to do about two circles for movement. So it's often easier to get into the more repetitive movement. Mm -hmm. Good. And then you might end up picking up the pace a little bit. Whatever works best for you. So again, we're going three, two, one, switch. So circle, push forward and back. Push forward and back. If you want to get the heels lifting and lowering too, you can. And even though all these different things are going on and it's hard to pay attention to them all, <laughs> I do want you focusing on your breathing pattern. Breathe in and out. Good. Circle, push forward and back. And lift and lower the heels. It's not very great. <laughs> That's okay. Do your best. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, good team, well done. So now what's gonna happen is our arm is opening and closing. So one arm is open and close, open and close, open and close. Mm -hmm. Our other arm is forwards, back, up, okay. down. Forwards, back, up, 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 down. There we go. Forwards, back, up, down. 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 
and three, <clears throat> two, one, switch arms. So now the other arm is opening and closing. And then your other arm is going forwards, back, up, down, forwards, back, up, down. Whoop, I gotta get in my pattern. <laughs> It's hard. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so find the pattern that works for you. Sometimes it, it kind of falls apart when we go too fast or too slow. So really got to find where that kind of happy speed that gets you into the zone is. And we're still focused on our breathing pattern. So we still want to make sure we're breathing out through mm. pursed lips. Good work, everybody. <clears throat> Three, two, one, rest. Good, you might need to roll those shoulders back a couple times, shake up the hands. All right, now we're gonna focus on the legs. It's a little bit of coordination with the legs. We are stepping forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in. Your arms can do whatever. You want to keep them still so you focus on just the legs great want to increase the challenge and get them swinging back and forth awesome let the feet step forwards back out in forwards back out in forwards back out in forwards back out in Forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in, forwards, back, out, in. Good. Okay, and we're going to change up the pattern in about... Three, two, one, rest. Okay, now to make it harder. One foot steps forward and back, forward and back, <clears throat> forward and back, forward and back. So while one foot steps forward and back, <clears throat> our other foot is going to slide out, in. So try to time it to forwards, out, in, back. Forwards, out, in, back. Forwards, out, in, back. Forwards, out, in, back. Okay, so kind of staggers. And the reason we kind of stagger this is so that not both legs are in the air at the same time. <laughs> That's the limiting factor. So get one stable as the other moves. Forward, out, in, back, forward, out, in, back. Good. And as you get more confident with it, you can start picking up the pace a little bit. That feels challenging, but doable for you. Keep up that breathing pattern. We still want to be exhaling through first lips and we are going to change legs in three two one change legs now the other leg is going forwards and back okay then we go forwards out in back forwards out in back forwards out in back forwards out in back 
Good. Get your arms pumping. I know we haven't had a rest since we started. This is really good endurance from all of you. Remember to keep in mind, we do want it to be challenging, but we also want it to be doable. And we don't want you, we want you huffing and puffing a little bit, but I don't want you really short of breath or feeling like you cannot catch your breath, feeling like you can't take in a full breath, only a partial breath. Those are all signs that you can stop, recover your breathing, and then join back in when you are ready. Mm -hmm. Good. And we're going to go for three, two, one, mm -hmm. and rest our last pattern. <laughs> Might need to take a breath there. Our last pattern is marching our feet. Mm -hmm. Our hands go across, open, cross, open. Across, open, cross, open, cross, open, across, open, cross, open, cross, open, across, open, across, open, cross, open, across, open. Good. If lifting your foot off the ground is too challenging, remember, you can lift and lower your heels mm -hmm. rather than lifting and lowering your whole foot. We're still maintaining that breathing pattern. And we've only got a couple seconds left. So do what you can. I've really been challenging ourselves here. Good. Three, two, <clears throat> one, rest. Good. It's a great time to grab a sip of water. We're going to have a little bit of a breather here. <clears throat> um, this is a great time for if anybody has <laughs> any questions about their breathing or about the exercises so far, please mm -hmm. feel free to ask those questions. And once we've caught our breath, we're gonna move on into some strength exercise. And remember, this is a great recovery position. Mm -hmm. Hands or five, uh, hands or forearms on your thighs. And then we're just focused on exhaling through her lips. Remember when we talk about breathing in through the belly, it's about using that diaphragm. So more of a breathing down or breathing outwards mm -hmm. rather than just breathing shallowly by breathing up. Okay, so try to get your diaphragm doing some work too. Okay. All right, dream team, well done. Please continue to rest as needed. Um, but if you're feeling ready to keep going, we're going to have a resurgence of our banded leg extensions. And this is the one with a funny setup. So how we set up for our leg extensions is we take our stretchy band. And if you don't have a stretchy band, you'll just have your leg stretched out in front of you, resting on the ground to start, okay? But with a stretchy band, you put the band underneath your foot. Once the band is underneath your foot, you just crisscross the two ends. And now both ends go behind your leg to wrap around the leg of your chair. And from there, you can just hold the band. And give me a quick 
if you need help, if not, if those instructions didn't make sense to you, which is okay, just give me a wave. I'll make sure everyone's set up. The outcome of this will be once you straighten your leg away from you, it should be pulling against the band. So as you kick your foot away from your body, there should be more tension on the band. Mm -hmm. The band is getting stretched. Okay, you can pull that band in as tight as you'd like. If no band, you just have the leg straight out in front of you, you're gonna tighten your quad, lift your leg, and then down. Okay, so this is a, a way to work those quad muscles if you do not have a band. Okay, it looks like you are all set up. So we're gonna slowly kick our leg out, make sure that quad is really, really tight, and then slowly bring that leg or foot back in. So slowly kick, and then slowly bring it back in. It's helpful to breathe out as we kick. Kick and back. Kick and back. Slow kick and back. Our goal is to do a couple more of these than you will feel like is necessary. So probably when most of you get to the point where you go, oh my gosh, are we almost done? Then we'll do a couple more reps. <laughs> the, the goal I'm counting out is to 20 repetitions, okay? So slow kick, slowly back. You are in charge of the intensity. You can make the bands tighter or looser, okay? Really want that quad to feel like it's working mm -hmm. hard. That's it, team. So slow kick out. Slowly bring it back in. The low kick out. Slowly bring it back in. Excellent. Got about five more. Five. Four, keep up that breathing. It's helpful to breathe out as we kick. Three, two, one. All right, slowly, we're gonna unwrap the leg. So make sure we don't just let go of a tight band. All right, and then it's the setup on the other leg. We put the band underneath the foot then both ends crisscross and then both ends of the band go behind our leg to wrap around the leg of a chair <clears throat> all right and then once we are ready right once again you should be able to kick out your leg and feel increased tension on the band so we're kind of pulling the band as our leg kicks away from the chair. Good, so a slow kick away and back in. A slow kick away and back in. Kick away, back in. There we go. Kick away and back in. Great job, team. Slow kick and back. Remember, if you do not have a band, your leg should just be extended, tighten the quad to lift it up and lower it back down. Okay, and squeeze that quad as hard as you can, regardless of whether you have a band or not. The goal is to really tighten up that quad muscle. Make it work hard. Good. Maintain that breathing as we go. <clears throat> Excellent job, team. I know. Gets tough. Gets tough. We've got... Well, I kind of lost track of counting. This is what happens when I'm explaining as we go. 
So we're gonna do five more. And hopefully that puts us in the ballpark. Five. Mm -hmm. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Rest. You can slowly untangle the band. And right from here, we're going to put the band under both feet. <clears throat> or if you have a shorter band, just underneath your thighs. Because we are going to wrap the band around our legs. So whether the band starts from underneath your feet or starting from just underneath your thighs, whatever works best for you. And then from here, we're gonna squeeze our glutes to pull our knees apart. Or you can make it more challenging by stepping your foot out to the side and back, whether you're seated or standing. If you're choosing to stand, um, stepping is the better option. But if you're choosing to stand, just really be aware you're standing on a rubber band. So please be careful with your feet so that you don't get caught up and trip and that the rubber doesn't stick to the flooring. Okay. So you can step the foot out or you can keep your feet still, squeeze your glutes to pull the knees outwards and then coming back in together, pulling them out and then resetting to come back in. Excellent. Step that foot out and back in. Step your foot out and back in. Step your foot out and back in. Good. Maintain your breathing pattern. That's it, team. Mm -hmm. Good work. And we're going for five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, you can now slowly take the band off. You can put the band to the side. And you can grab your weight. Perfect. Okay, with our weight, whatever you are using, <laughs> we're going to... Lean forward. Whether your hand stays on your thigh or you drop down your forearm, just notice I'm not curled over. I am keeping a straight back. Okay, so this is me sitting up straight, and then this is me lean forward with still a straight back. Okay, and then from here, we're just going to pull the weight up, hold, back down, up, hold, back down. Let's do 10 together. Ready? Lift. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, <clears throat> Seven, down, eight, don't pull the, don't pull the weight up as high as it'll go. If you try to pull it up as high as you can, the shoulder will rotate down. So just pull up the elbow to where it'll stop. Gets tight. That's where you pause the movement and down, eight, down, nine, down. 10, down. Okay, let's change arms. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> I will turn to the side so you can continue to best see me. Again, we lean forward, lean down, and lift. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down. Five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, and ten. Down. Good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to repeat those three movements before we change the movements that we're working on. So you can put the weight to the side again. If you need to go into your recovery breathing to catch your breath, that's great. Um, and before we start, actually, now is a great time for a sip of water. I encourage you all to make sure you're drinking water. Especially as it's starting to get more and more warm out. <clears throat> all right so the first exercise we did was our leg extension so we had the band under one foot the two ends crisscrossed and then the two ends went back behind our leg to wrap around the leg of the chair we held it as tight as is challenging but doable for you. Then we slowly kick the leg out and then slowly bring it back in. Slowly kick, slowly back in. Slowly kick, make sure you really feel your quad doing the work and back in. Slowly kick. And then back in. Excuse me. Good. Let's just do what you can here. Maintain your breathing. I, boy, do I think today's uh, exercises are challenging. You guys are so quiet. <laughs> Lots of focus happening. Breathe out as we kick and back in. Breathe out as we kick and then back in. Kick. Good. Excellent. Got five more on this side. Five, four. Really squeeze that quad. Make sure it's working hard. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Which legs? Again, the band goes under the foot. We crisscross the band. Good. All right, ready team and kick. <laughs> there we go. Slowly kick and then bring it back. Slowly kick, bring it back. Slowly kick. Make sure that quad is working really hard. Make sure you're maintaining your breathing pattern. Remember you're in charge of the intensity. 
If you feel like this is too challenging of an exercise, you have the power to make it more doable for yourself. And if you feel like it's too easy of an exercise, also have the power to make it more challenging for yourself. Or you can tighten up the band, and always um, double the band if it's got enough length on it. <sighs> you can really focus on tightening that quad and put a lot of effort into the exercise. Okay. Good. Just maintain your breathing. And kick. And we got five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Okay, you can unband. And now we're going to put the band either underneath both feet or underneath uh, the thighs. It's going to wrap around our legs no matter what. And then from here, we're either squeezing our glutes to pull the knees apart or you're squeezing your glutes to step the foot away. Okay, there we go. So step the foot away and then bring it back in. You should feel this in the glutes. Think about crooking a walnut in your bum cheeks. Mm -hmm. Good. Well done, team. That's it. So either step one foot out or pull the knees mm -hmm. apart. Keep breathing out through pursed lips. If you're choosing to step out to the side, remember to push down into the ground with your non-moving leg. And that will give you a little bit more stability and uh, power to step that other foot out. So one foot step pushes into the ground as the other steps. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Undo the band. Mm -hmm. And now we need your weight. Whatever you're using as a weight. And remember, we're leaning forward with a straight back. And then we're going to pull our elbow up to where it stops us, right? We don't try to lift it up as high as we can. That rotates the shoulder. Lift and hold. And down. Two. Down. Three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down. <clears throat> Eight. Down. There we go. Nine. Down. Ten. Down. Now we're going to switch hands. I'll turn to the other side. You can best see me. Leaning forward through the hips. Body stays, uh, back stays straight, and then we pull up, 
Nice and close to the body. Down. Up and pause. And really think about the shoulder blade doing the work. The shoulder blade squeezes back a little bit. And down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Down. All right. Jill? Yes. Would that happen to be uh, a Thor's hammer on the uh, TV counter there behind you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's Lego. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we, we built it out of Lego. <laughs> Who says you can't have fun as an adult, hey? Eh? <laughs> for sure that's right especially us exercising together so we all know we can have fun no matter our age all right dream team um i know some of you maybe got lulled into a false sense of oh boy we didn't do sit to stands today um but we got to do them now that our legs are really tired <laughs> The plan from the get go was to fatigue out your quads and your glutes and our Andy said to stand. So I will challenge you to do your sit to stands with your feet closer together than is comfortable, but that will reduce your ability to balance. It is harder to balance with your feet closer together. So safety first. Make sure you feel stable and balanced as you do these. And if you do, you can challenge moving your feet closer together. Okay? You can do it with the weight or without. There was challenging but doable. We're doing 10 together. Ready? <clears throat> Up we go. <clears throat> One. And then be extra careful coming down. Get those hips back. Make sure you... Get to your chair. You don't miss your chair. <laughs> you have a sore bum if you don't. <laughs> so we go slow. This is where we control the this, this descent. We don't plop down. Up four. When down, it's helpful to breathe out as we go up. Five. Down. Six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, and ten. Down. There we go. Exercise number two is you're going to lift up your arm and the opposite knee. And for those of you that do a lot of our exercises standing, I will challenge you to have something within grabbing distance and to either curl and lift the knee or to press up and lift the knee. And we're gonna do 10 a side. Ready, up, one, down, up, 
two, down, three, down, four, down, five. Now it's helpful to breathe out as we go up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good, so which sides? And up. One. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down, six, down with control, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten. <clears throat> Down, put the weight to the side. <clears throat> As you're doing great. I noticed that there's um, a couple messages in the chat. I'll get a little closer to read them. And while I do, grab a sip of water, get into your recovery position. And I'll make sure that there was no uh, um, questions here. What's up? Oh, just someone needed to leave early. All right, no problem at all. Awesome. Okay, dream team. Mm -hmm. How's everybody feeling? Thumbs up, thumbs down. So, so. <laughs> Couple weeks, awesome. All right, I've got great news for you. It's time to scratch. Yes. <laughs> So our stretch time is the best time to ask questions. So please don't hold yourself back. Feel free to ask away. Um, and I'll just say change or switch. And we're going to start with just lifting an elbow up and pushing it back. However is comfortable for you. Switch arms. How was class today, everybody? It's good. Good. Excellent. Challenging, but good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, you're in about eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once your heart rate comes back down, right? <laughs> Rest your arm. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to lean forward a little bit. You're going to stretch one arm back behind you, not lifting it up as high as it'll go. You can press it kind of just straight down, just a little ways behind you, and the other a little ways up. So we're getting kind of that Ross stretch da -da -da. here. Da -da 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 That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> And boy, well, you're back. Thank you. <laughs> and switch arms. I think this is also a good time to let everyone know, just to remind you that we've extended this series of classes until June. 
I believe it's June 13 would be the last class before we take a, a break for summer. You don't need to re-register or anything like that. So just keep using the same link that you've been using. There's not going to be any breaks. So we're just going to go all the way until June 13th. Same thing. Perfect. So we start, uh, we'll see everybody on Tuesday. That's right. So um, I think in the, uh, I think the previous one we were going to end after this week, but we're not going to take a break anymore. So Tuesday, we'll have class next Tuesday and then Thursday all the way until June 13th, if I have nice. my dates correct. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, stretch that leg out in front of you, reach towards your toes, everybody. Well, that's fantastic to hear. We all get to keep exercising together. That's great. That is absolutely wonderful. I remember this is a free class for anybody to join. Um, so if you've got somebody you know, any sort of lung condition or breathing struggle, invite them on. Um, doesn't have to be a commitment. They just wanna try one class and see how it goes. Uh, we're always welcoming. Um, to new people and our returning people, okay? If we're going to the 13th, we can go right into the Olympics afterwards. <laughs> I like the 55 plus senior games. <laughs> when is Vernon gonna host it again? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, I've worked worked hard to uh, build up a Kelowna, one of our women's team. Uh, we've got a women's soccer league here in town, um, but specifically a Kelowna United team where players who have graduated through our youth programs have a team to play on. Um, so they don't have That's to work amazing. super hard to find a different team. So uh, this is our first year with it, a lot of returning players, a um, little bit of an age spread, which is perfect. But a uh, couple of the younger ones are still away at university. So we had just enough, no goalie. <laughs> I went, the, I, for the, I haven't played in three years because of uh, knee injuries and then surgery. So I played as a goalkeeper. Oh, did you? <laughs> And I haven't played as a goalkeeper officially since I was about nine. <laughs> it's been decades. It's been decades since I was a goalkeeper. Let's pull that leg up onto your shin or your thigh. Mm -mm. I bet you were oh. nervous. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't nervous. It was all good. Um, oh. I just didn't have high hopes that we would win that game. Uh, and, and and we did not. But it was so fun. It was so fun to be back on the field. I bet the goal didn't seem so big. <laughs> it was only 14 to nothing. <laughs> I think the final score was 9-1. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a pretty high score. The other team had been training for about six weeks already. Oh. <laughs> that made a difference. <laughs> Where most of our team came out and they hadn't touched a ball in a year. <laughs> so Did much it? legs. Anybody call you a sieve? <laughs> yeah, it's a good name for it. I was I calling know. myself the training pole. Yeah, that's good. As yeah. long as you're there, that's all that matters. Um, I made one diving oh, save and one slide tackle. A message. <laughs> So I was just super, just super up upbeat and happy the whole time. More than this, the questions. <laughs> Did you have a good referee? Uh yeah, not bad, not <laughs> bad. The the refs the refs always look a little bit rusty the first couple of games. Exactly. He was yeah. he yeah. was good. I think he took some things a little too seriously. Yeah. <laughs> um, like at the beginning of the game, neither team had many subs. Each team had like one sub. <laughs> 
So I said, well, why don't we do quarters? Like, why don't we take a quick water break at about the 20, 22 minute mark? He's kind of like, what? And then the other team captain was like, yes, that's a great idea. So I just looked at him and said, we both agree. So we're doing it. <laughs> and he goes, well, oh, okay then. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have to leave the right now. So we'll see you next week. Thank you. Sounds great. Bye, Have a wonderful day and weekend. Thank Thanks. Bye for now. Drop a leg back, guys. But the, the first three games count as just friendlies. They don't count towards the standings at all. So all right, it, it's good. Play. You just ease into it. <laughs> so I said, it's okay, team. By game number four, boy, we're going to be back at it. It's going to look great. And I, was saying, I was saying that I was saying that the goal didn't seem as big as it did before, right? Oh, compared to being little? Yeah. No, I thought you were telling me I, I was I was looking quite big. And I was thinking, like, yeah, I, you know, I thought I'd been hitting the gym pretty good. But the thing is, is the younger you are, the smaller the net is. So it stays kind of relative. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The the key difference would be between U14 and, and older, because U14, you start 11 aside. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> or U13, but they changed the rulings, and they might go back to it. It's a bit up in the air what the U13 age group is doing, but relax that leg. <sighs> Players sure kick a lot harder, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Better shooters. <laughs> Okay, team, we're going to take a deep breath in together. Feel free to lift your arms up out to the side or just keep them on your belly. It does not matter to me. Take a breath in. And slowly let it out. Once more, breathe in. And slowly breathe out. Shake it out. All right, team, give yourselves a pat on the back. That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Thank Jill. you, Jill. Bye -bye.